Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. There is, as always, quite a bit to get done today, folks, so I am very excited to dive in. In fact, I saw some excellent suggestions and thoughts shared in the comments of the previous episode, and I'm really excited to try and uh, implement and integrate and sort of develop some of those ideas further and see what we can do with them as far as the uh, hippo enclosure and sort of the surrounding area is concerned. So what I think we're going to do today is right off the bat, dive right into the time lapse more or less right away. Um, I think my hope is, and I say hope, that's the key word here, my hope is that we'll at least complete the hippo enclosure today. If we're very lucky, then <laughs> and everything kind of like falls in place perfectly, we might be able to complete the hippo enclosure and then do a little bit more as well with today's time lapse. If that's the case, I'll probably do a bit of a sort of uh, beauty pass kind of an approach, uh, get some of the new sponsor boards up, uh, make some uh, make some sort of lighting adjustments, add some lighting. In fact, it's been quite some time since we've done a proper lighting pass. It keeps getting pushed back, not intentionally. It just it's just kind of what happens. But uh, I think I think what's realistically going to happen, if I'm honest with myself and if I'm honest with everybody, we're going to uh, complete the hippo enclosure today with today's time lapse, uh, and then next session uh, we'll probably go in with a beauty pass. And what we'll do is we'll add in all the new sponsor boards. We'll add in. Um, Lighting, I still think a lighting pass is quite necessary for us. So I think that's probably how it's going to work out. Though if we can get uh, both of those done today, then that would be excellent. But again, let's be let's be realistic, right? It, it, it's good to be a realist from time to time. Uh, but yes, the primary focus is going to be this enclosure. We're going to dive in. We're going to complete uh, the um, little pavilion over here itself. We're going to uh, do a fair bit of work with... Uh, with the space, as, as some of you have identified, and as I've said so in the past as well, my, my one of my biggest weaknesses perhaps uh, are large kind of plain areas, and I, I, I'm absolutely using plain uh, as a as a as a like as a, as a pun there, like plain as in like flatlands, as in like plains, as well as plain as in like you know it's a little plain. But as I was saying, I got some great ideas in the comments. I'm excited to try and integrate some of those and see what else I can do over here. Maybe uh, maybe break this space up. I got some ideas for the uh, vegetation as well. Uh, and hopefully that will bring this space to life. And hopefully it'll really kind of like, I think it'll come together quite nicely. Uh, really liking the overall space over here. I feel like it's coming together quite interestingly. I feel like we're doing some interesting stuff as well as far as terrain is concerned. Uh, which is always exciting when like there are massive sudden changes in the terrain. Uh, it's not something we did too much of back at Elite Zoo North, so it is exciting to be doing more and more of that at Elite Zoo South. So very, very pleased with that. But yes, definitely uh, the uh, the land space itself over here needs a bit of work. And uh, yeah, we'll be uh, finishing off this little uh, pavilion space as well. And hopefully it'll all get done today. And then again, like I was saying, next session, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go in with a beauty pass, lighting, and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? sponsor boards and things like that uh and i think i think that'll work out i think that will work out so folks without further ado i think we are well i mean i said i was gonna dive into the time lapse right away you know what? i'm gonna force myself to do that it's so easy for me to get distracted and start talking about other things no we will do that we'll do all of that uh after the time lapse because now yes folks it's time lapse time all right folks i am Super excited to share this time lapse with you because things go, um, in my opinion at least, fantastically. I'm really pleased with uh, how this space ends up. I'm really pleased with um, how everything comes together. Really, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things that I was nervous about going into this sort of enclosure, going into this project, if you will, uh, ended up working out a lot better than I would have expected. And uh, since, again, I don't often do these kinds of spaces, like I have built stuff from time to time, but not like this, not uh, not so fully enclosed by architecture. Um, while architecture has been relevant to certain spaces, it's typically been very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's kind of like, it's been, it's been very uh, thematic or referential or um, it, it's not, the kind of architecture we necessarily might expect to see in our day-to-day -day lives you know like i mean i guess it depends on where you live um but a lot of the times when we're we're building things that are a bit more 
it's like it's like with uh with 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 art right when when you build when you draw or make a 3d model of something that you're very familiar with such as let's say a human face it's a lot easier to find and point out what's not correct uh and so it's harder to get it to look good so in 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 a similar sense i feel like when it's something that uh I feel a bit more familiar with from a uh, I could walk down the street and see plaster walls and see glass paneling like this or see enclosed spaces like this. Uh, it's a lot easier to be hypercritical. Um, I would I would make a hypocritical joke there, but hypocritical actually means something which is not <laughs> is not what I'm trying to say. But anyway, my point being, I was I was uh, I'm, I'm always a little uncertain with these kinds of spaces because it's so easy to feel like something is wrong. Uh, and it's so easy to be able to tell that something is wrong and be right about something being wrong. Whereas when we create something which is, uh, again, referential or thematic or uh, when I say referential, I mean like historical or, or a cultural reference or what have you. Uh, it's a lot harder to point out those uh, issues as easily. And it's also easier to be a bit more forgiving uh, because, you know, well, the parts aren't there or what have you. Whereas with this, it's like, well, it should all be there. Um, anyway, that's just my personal uh Sort of mental hang-ups with with stuff like this but all that to say this i'm actually quite pleased with how this all ended up so you know it all it all it all worked out um we did the lighting first again I, this isn't a lighting pass but i'm fairly comfortable with how those little tube light looking things uh look how they like not just look as the the physical object itself but how they light up a space i'm fairly comfortable with how they work and so i kind of knew i wanted that to be the uh the sort of uh a base level lighting and uh, we will actually see it after the time lapse and you'll see how it actually looks and, uh, and i'd love to hear what you think about it but uh but yeah we'll be seeing the the lighting in action but once that was done i wanted to do the uh, roof over here now initially i was just going to do just like the same thing all across the board but then as i was doing that I, or as i started doing that i realized wow that's a really boring thing to look at really kind of plain and um kind of dark and uh you know just not as fun or, or or vibrant or inviting as it could be maybe uh, and so i thought well why don't we get a little skylight in there we don't want it to be too big i don't want it to run all the way up and down because i felt like that would be i, I quite like the solid kind of like white plaster look we have with a skylight integrated as opposed to uh sort of like three stripes of plaster glass plaster i wouldn't i wouldn't want to do that I, I don't think that would look uh as good and plus this way if you'd rather be in the shade you can be in the shade if you would like to have uh you know the sun on you you can have the sun on you and i want that was one of the key uh, considerations as well of just like doing a skylight in one section as opposed to across the whole thing now i did struggle a little bit with getting the glass panels to line up i really wish and i understand why this isn't possible uh from like a technical perspective in the game but i really wish the uh when you put like the when they overlapped i wish they didn't uh you couldn't see the overlap because it makes some of these funkier shapes a little bit harder to, uh, to pull off without some visual like glitching and stuff like that. But I'll work my way around it. I'm, I'm happy enough with how these seams show. So that's fine by me. But yeah, very pleased with how the uh, the space is looking so far. Next step is actually to make some of these shop coverings. We spent a fair bit of time uh, completing this, uh, this, this, again, constructed area at the beginning of this time lapse. Because to me, that was going to be the bigger... Uh, there, was, there was a lot more room for uh, uncertainty, I guess with uh with this aspect of the time lapse then the the second half uh, of this time lapse which is actually going to be the you know sort of enclosure itself if you will i gotta I gotta split this this is this is technically two spaces we're designing the enclosure and the uh the the viewing spot right very we could just as easily have made this a much simpler task by getting rid of the complexity of the viewing area could have just been the enclosure and yeah you know what you walk up this ramp and you stand there there's some fencing but uh that's not how we roll right around these parts so uh yeah this is basically a two in one i guess you could you could consider it that way anyway uh making these shop enclosures over here again using the plaster i'm, I'm very actually happy with the plaster um uh, model and the material and the texture and stuff it, it blends really nicely it creates some very nice shapes even when things don't line up perfectly like this was a happy accident to actually have it not line up perfectly so you kind of have the uh the 
there's like a, a ridge, an angled ridge basically between the shops. And I quite liked how that looked. At first it was an accident and I was gonna go in and I was gonna tweak that and, and make it perfectly smooth. And I was like, you know what? No, it adds a bit of dimension and depth to the space, uh, which if you just had a plain white wall, you wouldn't have it. So I like that. Back over here, meanwhile, on the interior to add some more dimension to the space, I thought I would add these uh, education uh, panels, boards, what have you. There are a couple of relevant topics to touch on, so I figured we'd get these down over here and I could make it look like they were suspended uh, on these plaster walls. And I'm actually, again, quite pleased with how that looks. The colors are all right. We've got the wood tones and we've got the uh, gray tones and, of course, the backlit, I assume, either LED or paper of the uh, signage itself as well. It all looks... I, I, I quite like it because it looks very striking. You know, it looks... Um, oh, God. <laughs> It, it, it looks it looks very it looks very striking um i was gonna say it looks very hip and i was like ugh, <laughs> it, that's on my mind because anyway it, it, I, I like the space uh, quite a bit i feel like those vibrant colors against the stark white and the black out front over here as well i think they all work together i think the uh uh the glass interacts nicely with the space as well but Anyway, <laughs> please with the space. Please with the space. I hope you all are as well. Again, as always, you know, if you've got any thoughts, opinions, feelings, positive or uh, constructive, uh, the word negative has uh, annotations, I suppose. But whether you have, uh, you know, whether you just want to say what you like or say what you would rather see improved, uh, feel free to let me know down below. I'm always curious to see and hear what people think about the various spaces that I build. It's always fun to, you know, like, just get an understanding of, uh, of other people's opinions always. Uh, I'm, I'm the curious type, at least, when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, over here, we break our symmetry once more. Again, I'm trying not to be too symmetrical with this space. I, I think I mentioned that at the beginning of this time lapse. And uh, this is an excellent example of it. We're like, okay, we've got the uh, the stores, you know, encased, and that's all good. But you'll notice that on the uh, left side, on the side that is closer to the... Um, excuse me, like lost my voice there for a second. Um, the, uh, the side that is closer to the, um, the now monitor... Uh, the ramp is basically the entry into the space, whereas on this side, uh, the ramp still has a roof over top of it. Like, on that far left side, the ramp does not have a roof. On this side, it does. So, again, they're not symmetrical, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, and you will see me kind of, like, build that space up. I, I thought we were there already, but uh, I completely forgot that, right, there is a whole other set of shops here that need everything done to them. Uh, this is where it would have helped if I had a tendency to make things a lot more... Um, uh, mechanically, I suppose. I've, I've never, I've never been one for that though. Uh, outside of when it's like necessary, obviously. Uh, but I could have just easily copy pasted and rotated, but, uh, pff, that makes life too easy. And pff, who wants that? Who, who wants, who wants that? Right. Uh, but yeah, getting the same boards up over here again, I quite like it. It looks very striking. I like the colors on those boards as well. Actually, specifically, you can do custom art now as well with the latest update, similar to like billboards and stuff like that. So uh, maybe we'll experiment with that. But when I start doing that, it's going to honestly, it'll it'll take so much of my like focus. And it'll take a lot of my energy to not overdo it. Uh, so I'm, I'm very hesitant to get too, uh, too into that kind of like world, if you will. All right, onwards to the actual enclosure itself. I got some excellent suggestions, as I said before the time lapse, with regards to uh, some things I could do to liven the space up, to spruce the space up, and uh, I'll definitely be integrating some of them today, and some of them I won't have a chance to integrate today, but we will look into integrating in the near future. Uh, one suggestion that I got was actually about using these mud baths as, you know, think of them like terrain, and I thought that was that was great. We did this for the uh, the dingoes as well, um, with their uh, with their water bath, or with their water, with their play pool, or whatever it's called. Um, water bath. Uh, so here I was like, yeah, right, same, same kind of logic, except it's with the mud baths, and it really immediately, in my opinion at least, it immediately just breaks this space up and adds that extra bit of something to it that uh, makes it far more interesting to look at. Uh, but obviously one is not nearly enough, so we will actually be adding a second one, changing it up a little bit, and uh, trying to integrate it to the little uh, rock mountain thing that we had going on over here uh, that was kind of like put down relatively arbitrarily because uh, it posed like rocks. Uh, but uh, but now it's actually being you know, integrated and of course this gives us an excuse and a space to put trees down Otherwise, it just feels like trees are placed randomly but now. It feels like trees Like they're 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 providing shade over these mud baths. It feels like they belong. You know what I mean? Uh, back over here meanwhile another suggestion I got was to just add another kind of like pool area um, Which I thought was a nice idea plus this would be a space to uh, be able to drink water from 
I might draw the hippos over here. You saw me play around a little bit with a uh, set of reeds that were lying on their side. Another great suggestion I got was with regards to making it look like hippos have trampled some of them. And uh, I like I like the idea there, but I have to kind of like figure it out a bit more uh, on my own. Initially, I think the suggestion was, if I recall correctly, for the river itself. And I do have uh, some plans for that, uh, which includes that suggestion, because I thought it was a pretty interesting one. Uh, but I still have to quite figure out exactly how I want it to look and, and how it would look and how it would maybe function. But uh, uh, but yeah, that was, an, that was an interesting idea as well. But overall, with the, um, with the uh, mud baths done, with the uh, little on the lake whatever you want to call it done and with the uh, donation bins and the education boards here done as well we will be done this time lapse i hope you enjoyed this one i think we're safe to call this space uh, fairly complete actually there's still work to be done there's always work to be done but uh, pretty pleased with our progress today and our overall space i hope you like it i am very pleased with it it's one of my favorites for sure i think i'd love to hear your thoughts on it but folks that is it all right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I gotta say, I am significantly more pleased with this space than I was at the end of the previous session. And uh, things have actually come together quite nicely. I'm, I, I am, I am quite happy uh, with uh, with how stuff actually looks now. Now there are a couple of uh, things that I still want to do with the space. Um, we will come back around and do them later because some of these spaces will see. Uh, the, um, what's the best way to put this? And there will be more work done in this general area. So we will be returning to this space, uh, you know, down the line as well. Every once in a while for a beauty pass as we come around uh, to, to like kind of this area together as a whole in the, I, I imagine, relatively near future. Uh, there are a couple of things that uh, that I want to do. And, and many of you have uh, provided some suggestions that I was able to implement. And I'm sure I touched on them in the, uh, you know, during the time lapse itself, but there were also some suggestions that I got that I did not get the opportunity to implement that I do really want to, though, with regards to how we might want to uh, do vegetation and stuff up and down the river. Uh, also, with regards to giving the hippos, you know what, actually, let's, let's go ahead and do this real quickly over here right now. Uh, I was I was going to save it until later, but then I realized that, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's actually, this is relatively convenient space to actually work with, which honestly is... Uh, <laughs> Probably one of the things I'm happiest about is just that the fact that I uh, watch I've jinxed it now, but just the fact that I'm able to uh, to adjust this water relatively easily um, makes me makes me pretty happy. Uh, but basically, one of the things that was suggested was that uh, there should be more entry points into the uh, into the river uh, because right now the hippos can only get in from that one spot all the way over there. The reason why I did that so in initially that was actually intentional because I figured that um, the uh, that would guarantee that anytime the hippos want to get into the water, they'd have to do it near the guests, and so the guests would get a decent view uh, of uh, of the animals as they're getting into water, which they again they do fairly often. So that was the thinking over there. But many of you pointed out that you know it'd be nice to have them use more of the space, and if we had uh, more access points into the river, then we'd be more likely to see them kind of roaming around and 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 getting to getting to these different uh, different places and different areas. Which uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, it's all, I guess, a matter of like what we want to prioritize. I guess is uh, is one way to put it. Uh, and I guess at the time I was uh, prioritizing the um, just out a bit. There we go. I was prioritizing the, um, the 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 view that the guests will have because you know they're they're likely to complain about that anyway. So might as well try and reduce how much they're uh, they're right in their complaining. You know what I mean? Uh, but I have no issue with this either. And actually, I am quite. Uh, Curious to see. Gotcha. Oh, actually, I quite like the shape there as well. I quite like how it like dips down, and you've got like these ridges and stuff. I'm, 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 act I'm really quite pleased with this space. I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm my, my expression of uh, of satisfaction is doing it justice. I kind of like how, like, okay, for example, this is so satisfying. The way this lines up, it's like an infinity pool. This is so satisfying. Uh, when this first lined up perfectly, like, are you kidding me? I would. Like, come on, this is, right? Like, what a view. Um, but the fact that this lines up almost so perfectly is one of the first things that, like, just immensely satisfies me. Uh, but then, like, yeah, we get some interesting shapes and stuff going on as well, which we haven't, like, a lot of the time I don't get uh, get these kinds of things from the terrain, but I feel like the terrain itself is doing a lot of the uh, heavy lifting in some of these spaces, so I'm very pleased with that. Uh, I do quite like as well, now that we've added these... Uh, uh, these spots again with the time lapse it all goes by so quickly so I, I do want to like do a little bit of a I guess mini tour after the fact just to showcase some of the um 
uh, some of the work we did. But like, I really like these uh, these mud baths now. They're a bit more integrated. Hopefully, they'll be able to use it. For me, it harkens back to what we did with the dingoes all the way over there. I think I think it was the dingoes, right? That um, oh, have I? There we go. Yeah, we kind of like decorated the little pool area. So it's similar to that, except with the uh, the mud bath, obviously. Uh, and I do quite like how it uh, how it looks. We've got little reeds and stuff. We have uh, over here as well a little bit of uh, water for maybe some drinking. I'm hoping they use this water to drink because then at least uh, when guests are over here, they'll get a good view of them drinking, eating, mud bathing, uh, playing with some like food and, and toys and stuff like that. And also a great view of them resting over here as well. I was so pleased to see at the beginning of this session, at the beginning of the time lapse, rather they were both in here. It's just, it's so, it's so, I don't know. It's just nice to see the space get used how you wanted it to get used, you know? Um, and this is, to me, this is excellent. The fact that they are, in fact, down here and, uh, the level of detail still blows my mind. The fact that they're down here, the fact that they are so clearly visible over here. Uh, and by the way, we've also, again, uh, got some education panels up over here. We've closed these guys off too. Really, really pleased with this space as a whole. Now, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but I have since, um, set that notion aside that things need to be symmetrical all the time. Let's, let's... Let's go a little freeform, right? Let's uh, let's find the beauty in asymmetry, because that's where a lot of beauty does lie. Uh, but yeah, I love how these guys are kind of like enclosed. I love this open space over here so that fresh air is able to come through because it's 42 degrees in December in uh, in Australia. And from from what I hear or read, I guess, in the comments, it's 42 degrees in everything in Australia always. So it'd be nice to have some fresh air circulating because this is a pretty closed space. we got the lighting working over here as well. We have a bit of a skylight. Um, but again, you know, when, when you have so much glass, you want to avoid the greenhouse effect, right? So an open space is not a bad idea. We might make it a bit more, we might seal this off, do something to it, but, uh, or maybe put a garden down over here or something. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But, uh, look at the, look at the shadows being cast and stuff. Like, I really like this space. I really like this space. Oh my God. You know, for the first, uh, first enclosure back to, uh, Delitsu South, I'm pretty pleased. What else was there to touch on? Um, we reworked the, the train a little bit, added this uh, space over here as well for the mud baths. Again, I, I, I think this... Uh, if they can actually use these like kind of integrated mud baths, I'll be very pleased because they, uh, they, they do break up the train a lot. They make the space a lot less plain, as I was kind of saying earlier. Uh, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pretty pleased. There's still obviously work to do. We're going to be diving into some management stuff right now and some excellent name suggestions I need to implement as well. For the uh, enclosure itself... I have not yet picked a name out. I did get some excellent suggestions. Uh, I figured um, I'd give it some more time to see some more suggestions coming through. So if you have any more suggestions that you'd like to share, leave them in the uh, in the comments down below here as well. Uh, and I'll be I'll be you know sort of looking at both uh, both videos. The reason why I'm doing that this time, I don't often do that, but the reason why I'm doing that this time is because as I had predicted, uh, last episode didn't really get pushed out by YouTube. Uh, I think I mentioned this last session, and this is why you know. At a time like this, now more than ever, it's important to, if you'd like to see the series continue, if you would like to, uh, you know, make sure that it's making the rounds and, and YouTube is actually realizing that people are enjoying it, please don't hesitate to leave a like and a comment. At the very least, uh, a like, it does make a very big difference. I, in fact, saw in the comments, many of you uh, mentioned that, uh, oh yeah, I did not get served this video. I had to go looking for it. I'm not making it up when I say YouTube does that. It's a, it's a it's a known factor. There are many unknowns with YouTube, but a known factor is that a change in content, a change in, you know, um, titling, all that kind of stuff makes a big difference. And so I knew coming back to Elite 2 South, there would be this uh, difference, especially because I'm sure many of you didn't quite care for the Southeast Asia uh, DLC coverage. And that's perfectly cool. Uh, that's obviously perfectly cool. Please don't take me to mean anything there. Uh, but what that means is when we come back, YouTube thinks you're no longer interested. So if the people who are still around leave a like, then the people who used to watch will start seeing it recommended again because YouTube will be like, oh, the people that used to watch this thing that you used to watch are uh, liking this thing right now, which you used to watch. So maybe you want to start watching it again. You, know, you understand? It's pretty, it's like, it's really clever stuff. It's cool, but sometimes it doesn't work right um, because it, it puts a lot of onus on... Uh, on, on individual users. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing. Anyway, point being, if you like it, if you'd like to see the series continue, please do not hesitate uh, to leave a like, leave a comment. Makes a big difference. Uh, I also just now noticed that this looks a little bit, you stretch your imagination ever so slightly, it looks a little bit like an elephant. Just a little bit like an elephant, doesn't it? Got the trunk over here. 
If you look this way, if you really want to stretch your imagination, I suppose you can also see a beaver. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of shapes now. You can also see like a roaring something here. Anyway, getting distracted. Let's get, to, let's stay focused over here. Uh, first order of business. All right, we touched on this. Yes, the this is, this is by the way where the name for the enclosure is going to go. I feel like it's a, a very nice spot for it. I just, I'm so pleased with this space. Anyway, I think that's where the name's gonna go. Uh, let us name some of these stores. And actually, before we get into that, uh, I know I said we're going to be doing the um, sponsor boards uh, next time as we do a beauty pass. I think it will be a lighting, um, lighting and sponsor board beauty pass. And maybe we'll work on some of the stations and stuff as well. It'll, it'll be a variety beauty pass. Let's call it to be to be safe to cover all our bases. Uh, but I do want to get some of these staff names in uh, right here, right now. So let me just uh, pull up my notes here real quick. And we have the one new name to add today, actually, for the educators. Um, <laughs> the request actually came with a uh, hilarious joke, which um, if, uh, if, if you wish to share or if you wish me to share, let me know. Um, but, uh, but we are getting our newest named staff member as the educator. Please correct the pronunciation of this because it is a, a portmanteau, I believe is the word we're looking for. Uh, Ryko. There you have it. Um, and that is the latest addition to our named staff. Uh, again, folks, if you would like to uh, to join this uh, excellent group of, uh, of, of folks that are helping keep Elitsu South running <laughs> in more ways than one, then don't hesitate to let me know. Again, channel members and patrons, y'all know what to do. If you're a channel member, leave a comment. If you're a patron, uh, shoot me a private message. And again, uh, if your name's already on here and you want to have it additionally elsewhere as well, that's totally cool. Whether it's an animal sponsorship or, or more staff members, 100% welcome. Uh, all right, with that done, and again, I feel like I'm a, I'm a broken record here, but we'll be doing sponsor boards. I've got plenty of them. We'll do sponsor boards next session as a part of a beauty pass. Um, I just want to make sure, I don't know, I always, I always get nervous that people feel like, I, I never, I never like a little bit of insight into, into who I am. I never like making people feel like they've been either left behind or forgotten or skipped. I, I hate making people feel that way. Um, I hate when it actually happens and I hate when it doesn't happen, but people think it's happened. Uh, so if I sound like a broken record about some of this stuff, that's why a little bit of a little of insight into into what drives my anxiety, but <laughs> but that's uh, that's why. So please forgive my uh, please forgive my ways when it comes to that. Uh, with that said, though, if I have somehow horribly managed to uh, miss a note from you here or there or anywhere, do not ever fear or or feel worried or second guess. Uh, restating, reiterating, and reminding me that I missed something. Please, I would much rather somebody tell me that I missed something uh, than they go off feeling like I, you know. Uh, did it intentionally or anything like that, right? Uh, with that said, I, let's go ahead and get some more names in here. I've got so many brilliant name suggestions. Uh, this was tough pickings. I'm not going to lie. It was very tough choosing uh, names for these uh, these stalls. And I love it. Y'all always always bring the energy, um, which uh, which is the first space that we're dealing with. Gulpy Energy over here is going to be renamed. Uh, let's see. I've got, a, I've got a slew of suggestions. So Gulpy Energy will from now on be known as at least here hippo potter rush hippopotter rush like hippopotamus except right i suck so it hippopotter right Hi oh no i spelled that wrong spelling it right might make a make a difference there hippo hippo hippopotter rush yeah hippopotter rush there we go that's the uh, gulpy energy now Moving on over here, we have our Cosmic Cow Ice Cream. A little bit of a cultural insight or linguistic insight coming with this one. Uh, evidently, the hippo, and I'm going to butcher this pronunciation. Feel free to correct me, please. Uh, but the hippo in Afrikaans is called the uh, Sikoi. Sikoi? 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 Uh, it translates roughly to sea cow, which I think is absolutely adorable and uh, at least visually very close to accurate. Love it. Uh, so we're actually going, as opposed to the cosmic cow ice cream, we're going with the sea cow ice cream, except, of course, we're pulling in that uh, inspiration there. So it will be the sea koi ice cream. Love it. Love it. Next up, we have a just a memento over here that currently doesn't have a vendor. People are slacking around these parts. Come on now. Just a memento shall be known as Torret's Trinkets. Now, Torret 
is a i'm a huge uh i'm really big on ancient egypt as well and ancient egyptian uh, mythology and stuff uh Taurus is the uh goddess of fertility and uh this for some of you this will almost immediately i think trigger a uh, a visual um uh visual uh what's it called like memory or something uh but uh, but she looks like uh she she looks like a a, a hippo she's she's I, I i can't recall now if she is a hippo or if she uh looks like a hippo because she she walks on uh on, on two legs and i believe her legs are actually cat-like this is all from memory right now so i i hope i'm not butchering this immediately after saying how much i love uh, ancient egyptian mythology but i'm pretty sure it's cat-like limbs and uh and the uh, the, 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 the head and, and body of a, of a hippo. And she's walking on two feet. So walking on two legs, walking on two feet. You, you know what I mean? Uh, now the, uh, the suggestion, uh, came, th don't give me the, there we go. Uh, the suggestion came through spelt like this. I've actually seen, uh, uh, taught it spelt differently. Um, but, uh, there are, uh, again, it's a, it's a transliteration. So there are like 10 different ways to spell Taret, you might be more familiar with Tawaret, um, or Taweret, or I forget the others now. There's one that has an H in it. It's like a Tho, Tho Thoret or something. Anyway, uh, Taret Trinkets, ancient Egyptian goddess of fertility, uh, and I think, I think childbirth as well. Both of those things, I think, um, has very hippo. Well, is is I think quite literally a a, a walking hippo with uh, with cat parts, and so uh, Taurus trinkets over here with just a memento went on a bit of a ramble there, but I, I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. Uh, meanwhile, over here we have a hats fantastic with a fantastic name for itself as well. Hats fantastic shall be called where to go. There it is. Oh dear. Okay, how am I going to say this? Uh, hippo hippohatamus. There we go. Hip. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Hippohatamus. Hippohatamus. Hip Hippohatamus. I love, I love These are such great suggestions, honestly. Like, Hippohatamus. All right, cool. Fantastic. Next. Oh, this guy is... That doesn't look like he's having a good time. What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? What's going on? That does not look very, very happy. Uh, the info center over here. Uh, we have... Um, ah, yes. Okay, yes. This is going to be the... So, uh, am I... Did I, I might have, yeah, okay, so this is the one that, uh, it's an excellent suggestion. I just made a slight tweak to it, uh, just because of how it, like, rolls off the tongue. It's just a, it's a totally, it's a, it's a subjective thing. Uh, so I hope you don't mind, but we are going with hippo, hippo compass. And I like this because it's got layers. All right, so first of all, uh, at the info center, you can pick up maps. Um, which is, you know, th this is what, uh, this, this is from, from, from the comments, which made me, oh my God, uh, you can get maps. So it helps you find your way. What else helps you find your way? A compass. So you got the hippo compass, but beyond that, the hippo campus is a region of the brain, which is important for many things. But if memory serves me right, it is also important for, uh, the learning processes. And what do you do at the info center? Right? Oh man, I <laughs> couldn't help myself. Hippo, hippocampus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna constantly get that uh, wrong. I'm gonna constantly say hippocampus because, like, hippocampus is a is a real wor word that I have used in the past. So I'm constantly gonna say that, even though I mean hippocampus. But this was such a solid. <laughs> uh, like I keep saying, all our artists in the comments, and then over here with the pip shot water, we have <laughs> H two hippo. Because H2O, H2Ippo, it's just, there's so much, honestly, and it's difficult. It's difficult because I got so many excellent name suggestions um, that, like, I have to, I have to pick and choose, which is the unfortunate thing, uh, or we end up with a bunch of stalls that nobody ever goes to. But thank you very much for uh, the entertainment factor there and for these excellent name suggestions. Honestly, they're, they're, uh, <laughs> they're, 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 they're solid, triple A grade, uh, puns, cultural references, uh, we got, we got, this is, this is punning with chemistry, we, it's just like a little bit of everything, I just, I love it, <laughs> I love it, uh, but, uh, with, with that all said and done, I think we can actually finally hit 
play. Yes. And uh, spend some time with the animals as well. Right? Uh, that's always fun, spending time with the animals. Oh, you know what? I want to actually... That's not where I meant to end up. I meant to end up over here. Uh, I, I wanted to touch on this as well. Uh, many of you, many, 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 many of you pointed out that we could... Uh, look at the tippy taps. They're so... Oh, you're so cute. You're so adorable. Uh, actually, by the way, I I, I, uh, I was incorrect about something, in, or I... Oh my god. <laughs> I... I, don't, I, don't, I don't, uh, what, what, what can I say? This is so cute. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I, I, I was incorrect about one of my statements um, last session, and uh, I was uh, I was corrected in the comments. So thank you for that. And I, I like, I, I, I dislike misinformation. So I want to correct myself over here real quickly. Uh, I implied mistakenly last session that keepers um, are are you know safe or safe-ish. I basically implied that uh, you don't want to you don't want to go up close to a hippo unless you're their keeper. I guess as is along the lines of what I said. Truth be told, keepers are also often um, hurt by the hippos that they keep. Hippos are very aggressive animals, so uh, so yeah, I just want to kind of clarify that that it is a uh, is a dangerous task. It's not like um, how how can you how can you, you like you got these big old you just like over here nostril facing that way too. I guess some folks like the smell of their own, right? Anyway, very adorable. Very nice to see them actually in that space. Look at this. this guy's just like, what are you still doing napping? Wait, are you? You are, aren't you? <laughs> I, I, I came up close and I could hear it from my, like, uh, my, uh, my, my right, uh, because I wear headphones while I record. So I could hear it distinctly. Look at this, like, cheeky look back. Uh, that cheeky look back and the smile. It was, it was, are you laughing at me now? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of wish I'd caught that yawn full on. That was that was amazing. That's uh, gotta love it. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Mud bath time. Yes, I'm so glad we're catching some of this. Immediately got muddy there. Just like walked in and immediately got muddy. A little uh, muddy buddy over here. There. Are you just gonna sleep in the mud bath? Ah, there we go, there we go. This is amazing. I think this is the first time I've seen a, a mud bath animation from any animal. I guess they just kind of like sit there. I can't recall... I thought it was, uh, I thought it was hippos. That like roll around, like all the way around. I'm pretty sure like most animals that do mud baths, they, they roll pretty much full over. But, uh... That's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. By the way, if you ever watched a, a sparrow do a like a sand bath or a dirt bath, it's, a, it's an interesting sight. I think it's sparrows. Uh, might want to look it up and, and check it out. It's pretty pretty cool. Uh, that's cool. Though. I'm glad we saw that. Um, anyway, what I was getting at before that happened, that whole, or this happened, um, many of you were talking about our underwater viewing experience and you know if I should or shouldn't do that, if I should or shouldn't pursue it, and uh, what came up uh, fairly often was in fact the opportunity or the option i suppose to uh to build another entrance into the zoo which is absolutely true with this latest update you can now build um new entrances uh i believe they're pretty pricey but you are able to uh to make sure that guests spawn at different points of the zoo i guess they realize that people are making bigger zoos than maybe they'd anticipated originally and in franchise mode um previously you couldn't put down additional uh additional spawn points for guests now if we're going to do that if we're going to do that, it would make sense to do one. Uh, I got a couple of suggestions, and I wholeheartedly agree with the with some of the suggestions. It would make sense to have one like here ish, and have another one like here ish, basically. So like flanking our zoo, you've got the main entrance, and then you've got uh, entrance number two, entrance number three, something like that. Uh, we could make it work for sure. It would be a whole kind of other undertaking, all of its own, just building an entrance, uh, making sure it's a it's a good looking entrance. I mean, I, I don't know if I just kind of like pull this and put it down. Uh, so that's something I have to consider is like, do I want to get, do I want to get that, like, how involved do I want this, uh, this back entrance to be? Like, do I want to make like a parking lot and all that kind of stuff or what? So something for me to think about, but, uh, but then we'd have more guests coming over here for sure. And then we could take a look at integrating this, uh, this, uh, underground 
uh, walking space over here. Uh, another suggestion I got was rather than integrating this or connecting this to the uh, main space over here, what if you got here from somewhere else? And actually there is uh, something I'm thinking about. There's something I'm planning uh, that might make for an interesting uh, interesting experience. We'll, we'll come back to that conversation. I have not uh, entirely abandoned it. Uh, we will come back to this conversation in the relatively near future because it will tie into some other stuff. What have we got going on over here? Diseased animals. We've got Pularemia. Go ahead and call the vets. Call the keepers. We need to clean this space up. They've been they've been they've been pooping everywhere. Look at this. Oh my god. This is actually too crowded. I should empty the space out of it. This is too crowded. I should empty this space out of it. What are you guys doing? Wh why? Why why all from that side too? You know? Why not some of you from this side? I wish the game had a better understanding of traffic uh, flow. Like, imagine being an actual person and sitting over here and going, I want to go down there. Would you take a right turn or would you take a left turn? I mean, look, listen, I'm just, you know. Which, which way would you rather go? Right? Okay, I just came here. Cool. I spent some time with the llamas. I want to go down there. Yeah, you know what? Let's go, let's go this way. Let's, let's, let's go this way instead of... Of this way. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, anyway, I, it's, it's really actually, you know, it's been a while since I've done this, but just coming, bring the camera down like this and look at that. Look at that off in the distance, just how busy it is. Got these llamas up over here. It's so vibrant as well now. I feel like, I feel like it's so vibrant. Like they changed the, uh, the color, uh, treatment or something. It feels like it's never felt before. Or maybe it's just the joy of being back here. I don't know. Either way, very pleased. Yeah, ruining my view. Very pleased. <laughs> right, what do we got going on over here? There were a couple of hungry animals, but I think they were just uh, fed, so that's good. Offspring, vet research is complete. Actually, this reminds me, this prompt reminds me. We really need to get the hippos being researched as well. So who here? Why don't we get uh, Trigart over here? Let's get you researching the hippos. Bam, there we go. Good stuff, and hopefully we'll get a baby hippo or two sometime soon. Back to the hippos, though. Yeah, I, I really like this space. Ooh, have we arrived just in time? I think so. I'm eyeing his food. Bonk there. Oh, no, looks like he's already acquired his food. Nope, shaking it a bit more. Not sure exactly how these things work, but I assume you shake them and they, they drop food. Yeah, it looks like he was eating. That mighty yawn. Buddy over here is eating like a regular regular platter. Enviously eyeing the uh, the more fun way to eat. Any guests up here yet? Okay. Yeah, once we add more animals up here, I assume we'll get some more visitors. I'm hoping that, like, we've got a bit of a loop over here. Right? You can go in over here. Just as a reminder, you can go in over here. Go around. You can go up this way. Go around. Keep going up this way. I, I like this space as well. I'm pretty pleased with these spaces, actually. And then you take this left turn over here. You can immediately come up over here. But we've got this, uh... Got this loop. It's just a long, long... That's the thing. It's like... It, uh... The game encourages, in my opinion at least, the game encourages, like, tight spaces. And uh, anyone who's familiar with this channel or with this uh, with this series knows that that's kind of, like, not my MO, really. <laughs> got some problems over here. We've got too many of you. That's the problem. Go ahead over to our animals. Definitely a bit of nostalgia here. Just looking back over here at that. How many sessions did this take to, to get to this stage? Man, you know, I'm 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 really quite pleased with the zoo. <laughs> Coming together. Still has some uh, some areas that need work. In fact, I got some great feedback in the comments of the last session, in particular with like some of the spaces over here and whatnot. There's a, there's a lot of good feedback that uh, I still need to work on and improve. And when I say I, I am happy with where the zoo is, I don't mean to say, yeah, we're done here. Cool. 
like I always say, right? Nothing's ever really done. But I mean, I'm I'm pretty pleased with where we stand right now, and some of the really kind of like scenic moments and stuff that we've uh, or scenic spaces we've built, some of the really fun shapes we've worked with, uh, some of the interesting stories we've told. I'm yeah, some good stuff. Oh, some good stuff. Getting a little nostalgic as we approach episode 100, I guess. Been doing this for a while. What are you guys up to? Still having a good time? Oh, buddy back there certainly is. They haven't gone for a dip in a while, eh? And I don't think I've seen them drink or, or otherwise use this yet. They will if they want to, if they need to. I'm sure. They'll be fine. A little lie down over here. I guess the sun's not so upright now, so you can lie down anywhere. But yeah. It's got, I get to see them using their uh, their shelter as well. I also got the suggestion to integrate the uh, the boat ride into their river. You would uh, you would not want to do that typically. Like you wouldn't want to be in a boat with the hippo. I don't know if that's what the suggestion was or or maybe uh, what I understand it to be. That's that's what it might have been. But what I think it was, uh, and I, I like this as an idea, is to actually integrate it next to the river, um, next to the big river rather. So you're kind of like taking a boat ride. Uh, by this river, and maybe you can see the, uh, the the hippos. That could be interesting. Uh, it would extend our uh, our river this way. It would take up some space that I was hoping to use for something else, but you know, we can always adapt, adapt and overcome, right? Um, we would have to also. Well, actually, hold on. The problem over here is that this river is at a lower height. Hmm. It would have to be a separate ride because this is at a lower height than uh, than this. So it's not like riverboat rides can like climb upwards. I wish they could. But it's not like they can climb up on upwards, unfortunately. So it would have to be a separate ride entirely. Which it could be. Hmm. Maybe a one animal ride. If we put another animal up over there, which I mean, is the plan. It's either the entrance or another animal. It could work. It could work. I'm going to think about. Sunsets. That actually gives us a chance to check out. Yes. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. I took a guess, I took a gamble, and it worked out. Look at that lighting. Moody. Not too bright. Not too overpowering. Not gaudy or anything. The skylight as well, yeah. It's a... It's a pretty hip space, if I may say so myself. <laughs> I'm no, I'm, I'm seriously though. Jokes aside, I'm I'm very pleased with uh, how the lighting and stuff looks. These things are backlit screens as well, so they're nice. Yeah, this is this is good. That is in fact a hippo. I was like, is that a rock or a hippo? It is a hippo. Look at that! Oh man, is this one of my favorite spaces in the zoo? I don't know. I would, it's so tough to like deter. Hold on, wait. We got wait. Hold on. Do we have a baby hippo? Hang on a second. Oh yeah. We, no wait. Right. We got three hippos. Right. My bad. I was like, wait. <laughs> we have a third hippo. Right. We always did. We 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 have three hippos. <laughs> Threw me off. Um. But yeah, it's it's kind of hard to tell if if this is my like. It's very different from anything else I do. I think that's why it's uh it's interesting to me. That's why it's like kind of got a lot of my attention right now. Look at these guys, though. Having kind of the time of their lives. We're gonna have to start taking care of our uh, lions and stuff soon. We're gonna have to do a little bit of reorganizing, I think. A little bit of management. But folks, I do think all that and more will be reserved for next time. That was a very productive session. I feel like we got a lot done. I'm really quite pleased with how this space is looking. I mean, I've, I've, I know, I know, I'm being a broken record again, but I just, I don't think I can stress enough how happy I am with how this space looks. Um, I was nervous about it, and I think that's a big part of it as well. I was nervous about how this is going to look. Anytime I do like a, a built area, constructed area, I get worried. But uh, seeing it completed, yeah, this is, that was great. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. And your suggestions have all really helped bring this place to life as well. Just adding a bit more uh, vegetation, breaking the space up a bit, just doing more and making it feel less, again, again, jokes aside, plain, I guess. But folks, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment. And again, I guess perhaps at the moment, especially more importantly, 
uh, if we can if we can say that, uh, let YouTube know uh, by leaving at least a like down below. It does make a big, 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 big difference. So uh, I appreciate that. And I, of course, as always, appreciate your uh, company, your time, your comments. I do read through them all. They do inform my approach overall with the uh, channel and with the, the various series as well. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to call it over here. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.